ているようです I'm sure that's it. I'm sure like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. You knew? But didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh? Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. 
I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do. And one is very near. Where? Here in Night City. Beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on. Talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. <sighs> hmm. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just, um... You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your no decision. Worries about that. You could use some air right now. You. What, what are you doing? 
What am I doing? I'm showing you what it's like to feel fucking trapped. Asked you. Warned you. But you've insisted on not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. Fuck off. Haven't agreed to anything But yet. I know you still don't understand how these leeches operate. She met you face to face. She revealed her plan. She sunk her teeth deep into you. Not going to be able to pry yourself out. Got any other ideas? I'd love to hear them. No. Then shut up and back off! Hey, you'd better relax. I am fine. Great, you checking out again? just yet. Vic! You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta-haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... I wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up, carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. Just ah! slowly. <sighs> Another victory for the history books. You got something to say, Vic. Just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Uh-huh. You'll find something there that'll help you end this on your own terms. If you can manage to cross those few yards, the rest will be up to you and you alone. On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Enough, Johnny. I just... Need to stretch, stretch your noodle? noodle. Fine. Fine. Just not, Just not in, in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. <clears throat> Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first.
Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that?